Oh my god, I just got hit in the fucking throat with a rock from a truck at about 60 miles an hour. Oh my god. Dude, I have no idea how you guys... Fuck me. Ooh. I feel like I got shot in the neck with like a slingshot. I mean, holy shit. But I don't know how you guys with um, open face helmets and, you know, like half helmets do it. That shit is suicide. I have chips on my visor from like bugs and rocks and stuff that are like, you know, they're, they're huge. And it's like, if that was my face, if that was my eye, oh man, that would be fucking bad news. What is going on, guys? It's September 30th, 2018. This year fucking, I mean, this month flew by. Holy shit. It's already like October, basically. Tomorrow's October. That's insane to me. September lasted like a couple hours. I don't know how it flew by so fast. It's like, it was like that week of September. Then it was like 9-11 Memorial time. And it's like, oh, that's sad. Then like there's a week after that. Then it's my birthday. And then it's fucking like October. It's bam, it's right there. And then it's Thanksgiving. Eh. Then I gotta go see my family members. Eh. I'm out for a ride today because I'm bored. And I had to work yesterday, which is a fucking annoying take away my Saturday, bitch. And I just want to get out here and scoot. It's about 60 degrees, fucking freezing. But I got some good gear on, so I'm all right. Well, I want to show you guys this place up here. This place. Uh, oh yeah, I can go. I'm going for it. today I've got <laughs> I've got my joggers on and my cowboy boots and all you see is like just don't know how nice it is to ride in cowboy boots man okay first off they're durable okay they're made for like riding horses and shit you know steady construction second off there's a little heel part you can rest your foot peg in and third they go up to like your shin so your pant leg isn't going to be kicking around on your calf, you know, like making you fucking crazy. And then joggers, bitch, let me tell you something. While they may not be the safest, they are comfy. And I don't care, man. I, I, I don't care if I look like a fuckboy. I don't care if I look like Drake's white son, man. I don't give a shit. I'm comfy. I'm happy. I got joggers on. Cowboy boots. Fuck with me hard, please. You don't know where I've been. There's no laces on your shifting boot, so you don't have to worry about it ever getting snagged, you know? And they're fucking, they're dope, man. I like it. Get yourself a nice pair of cowboy boots, some joggers, and, you know, people are going to start copying your look, you know? They're going to start releasing, like, Kevlar joggers, and, you know, Alpine Stars is going to make their own cowboy boots. I'm ready for the fucking revival, you know? I'm, I'm there. But anyways, this is the place. <laughs> it's a vast field of nothingness. But this is kind of cool stuff here. See, it's for sale. Keystone Regional Industrial Park, 1300 acres, tax exempt. And I've actually Googled this, this place here. And I think they want, like, I'm, I'm not sure exactly, like, if it's changed at all, but last time I checked, I think they wanted, like, $40 million for it. $40 million bucks, I believe. Which is a steal, because, you know, it's 1,300 acres, and there's already a road on it. <laughs> but, uh... You'll see like all these big banks and everything 
around here. And basically what this is, you can see those water towers in the back there. Uh, basically, this was a um, like a labor town in the in the 1940s. So like in the 1940s, this government the government bought this big piece of land here, and they um, they set up this like big fucking factory back there, and a bunch of like little houses and stuff for people to live here, and they basically just like made munitions like, you know, big, um, you know, bombs and some other crazy shit. Uh, looks like people have been going around it. I don't know. Probably shouldn't, though. There's a guy's car right there. He's probably back here archery hunting. I kind of feel bad now. Oh, well. <laughs> or maybe they're parking. I don't know. <laughs> Or maybe it's a serial killer. Either way, we'll get some good footage. But uh, basically, they they um, bought this land here and they made this huge like fucking town and factory. And they like recruited all these people from from like around the area, you know, like Pittsburgh and Cranberry and all those places. And they basically like sent them up here. And if, and like a lot of them were living at the colleges around here too. And they they like take buses and they pick them up, and bring them here. And then they would all, you know, work and you know, shop here and do all kinds of crazy shit. But um, after the war ended in World War II, they just had this big fucking thing here. This big factory and everything. And it's really impressive when you go there too. There's like, uh, you know, these just like gigantic fucking warehouses and all kinds of crazy shit. And it's pretty impressive. And I used to go back there a lot when I was younger, ride the bike back there and stuff. But last year, some fucking kid was, I'm not saying like a bad thing, like some kid was like back there and he was drunk or something. He was on top of one of the like derelict factories and he fucking fell and died. Like he fell like four stories and just died, you know. So obviously they put up some gates and everything to deter people from going. And that's a little too muddy to go up. I usually go right up that, but the street tires on this thing probably aren't the best idea. This part over here, it's not like blocked off or anything, or it's not like there's any no trespassing signs, but that back there is pretty, you know, ever since that kid died, I imagine there's gonna be some, you know, shit going on. There's like a dude just sitting over here too. Archery hunters maybe? I don't know. <laughs> maybe they're suicidal just waiting for the train to come. Kind of freaky. I'm putting my safety at risk for you guys. really cool because like we'd go back there and yeah you could climb the water towers and like all the ladders were still there and everything and you could go up in these huge ass factories and I could totally see how it would happen man this the, the roofs of those factories were just like really soft and everything you know so yeah that kind of blows I kind of want to go back there and check it out but then again I don't I don't want to get in trouble. Yippee ki yay yee. I never learned how to clutch up, Willie. Sorry. Sorry, I suck. But I do know how to power wheelie. I think it'd be so cool to like do some, 
I don't know what you could do with this place. You could do so much shit with fucking 1,200 acres, man. You could make like a big ass, crazy, insane paintball range or something. You know what I mean? You could do all kinds of cool stuff. If any of you were wondering, this is what this is what the scooter looks like. So this is a 2013 DRZ 400 SM with the 17s and all that kill shit. Look at that big pile of shit. Damn Dutchies! Yeah. I'm gonna try a fucking power clutch up wheelie right here. Okay, I'm in first right now. I think I'm gonna be in second for these. Ah. I just, I can't finesse it, man. Like, there's like a certain... There's a certain thing you gotta do, and... I just, I just cannot get the hang of it. It's like, you gotta like, pull the clutch in, rev the fuck out of it, dump the clutch. And I just, I can't fucking do it. I just suck. I'm wondering if I should just go back there and explore. Oh, I don't know. It's all government owned property, so I kind of get this like feeling that they may have put up some sort of like trail camera or something there to like really deter people. You know, because they will crack down on that shit when people start fucking dying. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Just. Sorry I'm lame. Bye guys.